Bulls donkey Z. Double chin jab. Open the book. Feed in the book. Play piano on his squishy eyeballs. Leading the right out to your knees. Makes sense? It's not rocket science stuff, and it shouldn't be rocket science stuff. It should be simple stuff. Uh, from what you say. So we'll look at the third and last of the chin jab suites. So we've got single chin jab. Elbow up. Bounces head off the deck. Being weapon aware. Yeah? Double chin jab. I step in. Bam! Break that glass. When I put pressure on his eyes, which I'm not going to do right now, what happens is people put their hands to your wrists. So, because they don't want that. What's great about that is hands that are on my wrists are hands that aren't pulling knives and guns out of holsters. Make sense? So by having the pressure on his eyes, I understand where his hands are, and I can smash the Jesus out of his crackers. So his hands will react. So when people look at wrist locks and they're like, well, no one does this, and then does the counter. Really, defense against wrist lock, defense against wrist attacks happen when I attack something important, you grab my wrist, and this is where you would respond to someone grabbing your wrist. Not from an abstract, you know, I'm a member of the Kyoto police and you're under arrest for illegal selling of fish paste. <laughs> <laughs> Third and final is the inverted chin jab. So this is where I want you to get into a bit of a struggle cover. So I want you to bash into each other. Just go chest to chest. And I want you to do this a little bit ballistically. So the ballist, I want you to get into, I want you to get to this. And I want you to do it with you being a little bit off balance for the drill, yeah? So, inverted chin jabs are here, all right? What we're going to do, again thinking with the hard knuckle of the palm, we're going to roll our elbow around and crack him this way. So we're cracking the thumb down. Bang! Now the reason why I want to do this, bang, if it slips a bit, I'll pop him with the elbow, doesn't matter, yeah? Bang! The great reason to do this is I can go from here, grab a big lump of face, rip it the other way, and now I've got real good space, bang, do something really ballistic. This will very unlikely knock someone out. It will hurt, but it won't knock them out. So we do this inverted chin jab, grab a lump of something, rip it, so now I've got a runway here, bang, and elbow him, elbow him, I make it the space and crack him with the fist. But I wouldn't have been able to do that if I hadn't pulled off this inverted rip. Make sense? So to start the drill, collide a little bit, boom! Yeah, doesn't matter what side. Bang, and it's important that your hip and your foot and your shoulder, they all do this strike. Does that make sense? In the same way I would throw a right hook or a left hook with authority. Bang, anything with that. Grab a little of a bush. Move. Also notice this, when I pull his head the other way, I move myself as much as I can, because I want a runway of pain. If I don't move myself, I get a little runway. If I do move myself, I get a big runway to do something. Does that make sense? So when you move a man, always move yourself at the same time. Double the efficacy of that movement. The inverted chin jab. Change your partners, give it a go. You've got two overs. You've got two overs. So if you've got an over and one, you've got an over and one. 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 You've got two overs. That's it.